Yeah. Well, let, yeah, let, let's talk about that because you know, we talked a little bit about the past. Let's talk about now what's working. Tell me a little mm -hmm. bit about what you're seeing work in your centers as far as, you know, FEC or, or what else you're seeing it, it work for you today. You know, and, and just, I have the two traditional centers and what's working today is our focus on family. Okay. We, mm -hmm. we do a lot of family value packages. We do birthday, the yes. birthday party packages. Kids Bowl Free is a tremendous program because it, it's all family oriented. Right. And so when you're doing your marketing, if you got a lot of Kids Bowl Free and you have, you know, a good birthday party program, okay. And you're marketing a family package or family values to families, it all kind of ties together. Okay. And so we, in the two traditional centers, that's a big thing to us because we, you know, when theaters, before they close with COVID, you know, you, you go to a movie with two kids and two adults and you couldn't get in there for less than probably 60 bucks, you know, and we can run a, a family special where you get yeah. two hours of bowling and a pizza and a pitcher of soda for like fifty nine ninety. You know, right. and, and people appreciate that, especially to, you know, because yeah. your cost in that is the cost of the pizza and the pitcher of soda, which is like, what, six bucks maybe? Right. If you know, can. and so, but the customer doesn't see that, okay? But, the, mm -hmm. and so, you know, we do a lot of just, you know, marketing to families because it, it, it's a good value to them, okay? And mm -hmm. I think that's important today, especially... Lately, with inflation on eight percent, and you know, even you go to a fast food place, you see the prices, and you're like, "Oh, oh my!" Right. Yeah, and so you you make it a little more prices, yeah, and, yeah. And but we don't, you know, like I said, from you know Sunday or from Friday from five p.m. till Sunday four or five, we, we charge full price. You know, I mean, it's and so and and in, in the FEC business, I write market studies for that, and we see arcade part of the business keeps growing higher and higher and higher hmm. in the, how would I say, the amount of revenue it's doing as compared to the other categories. Yeah. Used, mm -hmm. used to be Arcade would do, you know, Arcade and Laser Tag do 30, 32%. Maybe Bowling would do 25, 28%. Well, now we're seeing the Arcade do close to 40% of the gross revenue. Wow. And that's, so you see yeah. that that's taking a bigger bite. You know, people are going into the, FECs and spending more money in the arcade than anywhere else, mm -hmm. which is very interesting. Okay. Yeah. Because you, it's very profitable. Okay. And I think, right. yeah. you know, when we're writing these studies, we see these, these numbers like this, you know, Walling's saying about flat food beverage goes up a little bit, but the games are going up quite a bit. And it's mm -hmm. just interesting to us that people are more interested in going to the arcade and playing those games and maybe winning those redemption toys than, than mm -hmm. anything else inside of the center. Yeah. And that's something, I don't know if you've heard that, but something we've seen when we, when we go to do our market analysis of revenues. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I, yeah. I do wonder about that. You know, if it's has to do with maybe technology, you're used to playing on their phones and then something more, a closer crossover. I'm not sure, but yeah, it, it seems like it's growing a lot, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and, and the family entertainment center business is a great business. I mean, you, mm -hmm. it's, it's, you know, one where, yeah, they say bowling is usually the driver, called the bowling-based family entertainment center. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, if you have top-notch food and beverage and you have, you know, a great arcade with maybe 60 to 80 to 100 games, you're doing extremely well. Mm -hmm. and, and the other big drive, okay, whether, you know, with COVID, that killed group events. <laughs> you know, I mean, it, it killed birthday parties, Christmas parties, bar right. mitzvahs. And now wow. you see it coming back very strongly. Yes. Okay, yeah, and big time. and the spend, and they're not afraid to spend money. Okay, the ticket items they're not afraid to spend on whether you know they can go have their meeting in the meeting space and then have some lunch and then go bowling or play games. So you see that part of the business getting getting stronger too in the yeah. entertainment centers. Yeah, especially as you see people going virtual. You know, you you want yeah. to bring the team together, and there's you there's still that need. There's no getting around that need for connection in person, and that's a great way right. to do it. Yeah, you know, a lot of people still don't go to the office. You're like, there's virtual mm -hmm. like this Zoom. And so when they have a party, that's really connecting because they're physically there. Right. Okay. And it's something they can do together. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, it's the, the advantage they have there, these FECs, is that you, know, you have a Christmas party for a big company. Well, you know, you go to a ballroom, banquet room, you eat the dinner, and that's it. Mm -hmm. You have some drinks. Yeah. Well, at least with the bowling and entertainment centers, it, it's interactive. And I think yep. that's, that's the big win for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, 
bowling centers have had a great run the last, from what I've heard, the last 12 or 15 months, whether it's entertainment centers or regular traditional centers. Mm -hmm. And I think that has a lot to do with first COVID and people being co cooped up. Oh, yeah. And second, I think movie theaters not being around much anymore give people less choices to go out and do That's true. interactive things. Right. And I think that has a lot to do with it. Mm -hmm. Not to say that we haven't done a good job, but there, there's something yeah. driving this. You know, yeah. And, and I mean, what do you see driving that increase in the bowling? Well, I mean, definitely the, the ones you mentioned being cooped up. But one that we, that we don't tend to hear about as much is the survivorship bias. So you, how many centers didn't make it through COVID? And now right. those people still got a bowl somewhere. Right. Yeah. So many and I, and I didn't centers know the neighboring you, one is, is went under. Right. What's that? Do you, do you know the numbers of that? I yeah. don't, but but anecdotally, it's it's pretty decent, you know, like a 10, 20% kind of number, like significant. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, and that's probably with, I guess you would say the same thing with restaurants and bars. Exactly. Whoever, sur yeah. whoever survived, you know, mm -hmm. survived the pandemic came back strong. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. And that, that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. That does. Yeah. yeah. Like for instance, in, in our town here, we have, we have a, a bowling center that my, my good friend, Dan Mowry has, and you know, they're, they're one of only one, there's maybe only one other late night place to go now. And before yeah. there was four and now he's, he's, it's him or one other person or one other bar and that's it. So where do you, yeah. where does that one go? Right. And, 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 you know, with food and beverage, you take advantage of that. I mean, that's the mm -hmm. thing you, you, you try to take advantage of that as much as possible, right. you know, and that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it, Anytime, you know, you, when we write market studies, the first thing we do, we look at the market as we, you know, draw the five mile, 10 mile, 15 mile ring and see who are the competitors, mm -hmm. you know, right. who, who, how many lane beds are in that market. Mm -hmm. And that's the same thing that's happening to him now, whether it's right. lane beds or whether it's laser tag, whether it's mini golf, you know, and so if there's less of that, then this, you're going to do much better. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I would definitely include bar stools or seats, you know, booths, whatever in oh, yeah. the study, because that's that is, you know, your choice. It's not just, you know, bowling. It's, you know, where where we're gonna right. go out tonight. Right. And then and 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 then you only have so much disposable income. You know, and so, you know, I mean, and that's that's a good way to look at it. Mm -hmm. And you yeah. market to that too. Right. You do that, it, you could expand it hours of operation <laughs> or different things like that. Hey, did you like this video? Great. We make five of them a week. Subscribe to get more and to keep learning about what's working in the bowling industry. I'll talk to you then.